Welcome to the first ever episode of Sinquiries, probably the only podcast based around a series of surveys and one of many podcasts that has nothing to do with JFK. I'm your host, Martin Trogani, and today we're going to look over the current results of the first survey, Important Questions. Now, the premise of these surveys is that there are 10 prompts on each one. Typically, it's seven multiple choice questions, one short answer question, one long answer question, and one prompt telling you to do something. The order of these is always random, so you might have a completely different order from someone sitting next to you. But the questions remain the same. Once each survey accumulates a good body of responses, I'll read the results thus far in podcasts such as these. I think I'll do one for each survey at 25 responses, 50 responses, 100, 200, and so on. Today, we are going to be looking at the first survey, simply titled, Important Questions. Currently, we have 26 responses and a good body of data to do our first round of analysis. Uh, let's get right into it. So, question one. Uh, this is going to be different from maybe the order uh, the respondents did it in, but uh, I'm just going to read them as I wrote them in. So, let's, let's start. So we have, first question, is a wrap a sandwich? Uh, majority is saying, nah. 61% actually. The remaining 38% are saying yeah. So it's a pretty even split. Um, <laughs> this is sort of a weird debate that's been going on online for ages now. So it appears that we still haven't reached a conclusion. So we'll see where this goes from here. Next question, boats? Looking like a solid majority is saying yeah. Yeah to boats. Some people are saying nah, but they are in the minority by a large margin, so it does seem like people like boats. I mean, I like I like boats, but I'm I couldn't uh, <laughs> I wouldn't respond to my own survey because that would that would be cheating. I'd skew the results, even if I'm just one respondent. That's that's bad. It's bad for business. Next question: Chicken pot pie. Uh, looks like the same response as boats. Probably different people said nah, though. Uh, but looks like the majority are saying yeah to chicken pot pie. That's what I like to see. Next, uh, this is the first long answer question. Uh, provide a review of Speed Racer 2008. Uh, an excellent movie. Very, very flashy. Um, <laughs> I guess animation style? Even though it's a live action thing, it's very, very heavily reliant on the CG aspects that it uses. So, I guess uh, let's just see what people thought about it. There's poopy in my rectum. Sounds about right. A riveting, coming of age story about a young man and his suicidal tendencies. He constantly puts not only his life, but the lives of all those around him at risk for the small rush of adrenaline he gets from his overworked glands. <laughs> While the dialogue is lacking, the screenplay was brilliant. Gave me a very confused erection at 10 years old, and engorging I've yet to match in the years since. That was, uh, <laughs> that was quite the response. I, I can't say that it elicited a similar, similar reaction from me, uh, but we're just gonna go right from there. Not applicable. Guess they didn't watch it. Didn't watch, looks bad. Not wrong, it is bad. Ecstasy, ha ha, lol, K. Yeah, it had some stuff in it. Armand White, controversial film critic, Bruves. Very nice, thank you Armand White. Fast paced, good pun, God tier. Yeah, yeet. Nah, bad but not bad enough to be memorable. Live action attempt at anime. Ah, uh, for those who are not aware, Speed Razor was an anime long before it was an animated live action movie way back in i want to say like the 70s it was an anime though and uh i think the energy of an anime translates very well in this movie despite its uh, apparent lack of quality eh someone just flat out refused to fantastic movie can't argue with that very fast man goes fast brawl was okay what three out of seven Cool. Next prompt. At this point, it is requested that you clap twice. For those of you who submitted answers and did not clap twice, I am going to consider that an incomplete survey as an automatic 9 out of 10. 
Anime is, this is our short answer question. Anime is, against the Geneva Conventions. All right, <laughs> gay? Let's keep a tally for gay. A plague upon our once beautiful lands. <laughs> Anime is sin. Anime is WWE for uber nerds. Anime is for Trump. Anime is gay. That's another one for the tally. Anime is some stuff with more stuff in it. Anime is used by weebs to fill the large empty spaces in their lives that should be filled with social interactions. Anime is a style of Japanese film and television animation typically aimed at adults as well as children. Thanks for playing along. Anime is hentai for kids. Anime is sin. That's the second one for sin. Yep. Anime is not gay. Could have fooled me. Anime is Japanese. Could have fooled me. Anime is a scourge upon the earth. Anime is intense cartoons. Anime is waifu. And they spelled waifu wrong. Anime is copy pasta. Anime is a sin. I think that is three for sin now? Yep. Three for sin. Anime is reality. Anime is gay. It's the third one for gay. God's Mesegua. Anime is duck and schmexy. Anime is trash. Anime is waifu. And anime is weeb. Pretty uh, interesting spread we had there. Yeah, uh, pretty much all the answers I was expecting to get from that prompt. And so uh, I decided to say that was a resounding success. Uh, I guess on this one I put two short answer responses. How do you keep it 100? I don't know what that is. All right, just Google it, bro. Butt plug, first thing in the morning. A crippling porn addiction. An unblockable X swing into a pommel strike. I think they meant pommel, P-O-M-M-E-L. I'm gonna check that, make sure I'm not. P-O-M-M-E-L. Yep, P-O-M-M-E-L. Move the thermostat once and keep it there. It's a pretty alpha move there, if I do say so myself. How do you keep it 100, dicks? How do you keep it 100? Do flips. Fucking drugs. How do you keep it 100? By not adding or subtracting for it. Yep, I suppose not doing math to the number 100 would allow you to keep it at 100. Calculus. Doing math to keep it 100. You do you, man. Crippling depression. Yep. Yep. Horse. A very typical way to keep it 100. I sometimes use horse to keep it 100 myself. By watching one third of the movie 300 from 2006. Yep. I suppose that's one way to do it, but it depends on which third you're watching. Is it the third at the very end, in the middle, or the beginning third? Or do you watch one out of every three frames? Can someone do a supercut of that? That'd be hilarious. I yeet it 100. Doing 100 things a day. Call out people on their grammar mistakes while making plenty of my own. How don't you, huh? Ever think about that, huh, huh? I always get up in the morning before the market opens. That way I know how much money to invest in jaw coin. Rip X. How do you keep it 100? Eating lots of ass. Yeah, my man. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. How do you keep it 100? His hair, whack. I'm telling you, I love that video. His hair, whack. Every, every time I watch this video, it just makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh man, everything about this video is, is fantastic. I'll link it. I'll link it. Let me put that one in the notes. In the show notes. For you. Because I like you. How do you keep it 100? Holding it down from my homies. And then that emoji where it's like. Uh, I mean, I don't suppose my nose just made that noise particularly well, but you know what I mean. Uh, how do you keep it 100? Jack and my dong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't. Bruh, Bruh. moments. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. How do you keep it 100? 99. All right, that was the end of How Do You Keep It 100 with 26 responses. Yeah, it's just taking a long time to just go through 26 of them. So I think uh, from now on, I am going to just go through it and just cherry pick. But for this episode, I'll read them all out. I'm reading them all out. Next question, Fortnite? 100% nah, that's what we like to see, boys and girls. And boys, yeah, 100% nah. Yeah, nah. Next question, choose your weapon. All right, we have a number of excellent weapons to choose from. And uh, this actually goes hand in hand with the next question, choose your fighter. So I suppose uh, the way I thought about this one was uh, you have your fighter and your fighter will use whatever weapon you chose to defeat the other people's fighter and uh, whatever weapon they chose. So. Currently, the weapons of choice we have are the Internal Revenue Service, Tactical Soy, 
weapons-grade nihilism, an ancient stone sword imbued with the soul of President George W. Bush. Bless up, rest in peace. Horse, crop duster filled with anthrax, Hurricane Natanov, and communism. Now, looking at the results, it seems that communism is in the lead with six votes. However, right behind it are horse and crop duster filled with anthrax. So, uh, it seems like those are our top three. Following directly on the heels of that is the Internal Revenue Service. Behind that, an ancient stone sword imbued with the soul of President George W. Bush. Second to last place, tactical soy and drop dead last place, weapons grade nihilism. Yeah, these are pretty uh, predictable things. I mean, I don't know how devastating communism would be against a crop duster filled with anthrax or even a sword, but I know a horse is a deadly weapon. Uh, anyone who has played Battlefield 1 can attest that a horse is able to take a anti-tank rocket straight into its flank and still come out 100% alive. And uh, oh, apparently there have been zero votes for Hurricane Natanov. Suppose no one wants to deal with having to wield uh, the power of a hurricane. I can't say as I blame them. Going on to choose your fighter, we have Tumblr SJW before the not safe for work update. Andrew Halpin, my boy. An African-American who runs like Naruto. A nice Jewish boy you can take home to mother. The hacker known as 4chan. Ninja from Fortnite. My d And Andrew WK. So, in first place, we have an African-American who runs like Naruto with eight votes. Not a majority by any means, but still the largest margin. Then, we have a three-way tie for second place. We have a nice Jewish boy you can take home to mother. My d And Andrew Halpin. Coming up behind that is the hacker known as 4chan. And then, uh, it seems like every, every one has an answer here. We have Ninja from Fortnite has one vote, Andrew WK has one vote, and a Tumblr SJW also has one vote. Well, that is the first survey. So if you have not already taken this survey, I highly recommend you do. Maybe you can sway these answers one way or the other. I forgot to mention, it is highly recommended that you take the survey before listening to this podcast, but I mean, maybe I'll think about that on the next one. Uh, but now that you know what all of these answers are, would you like to take part? I will leave a link in the description so that you can take this survey and all of the other surveys uh, that don't have enough votes yet. Once they hit 25, I'll put together the uh, put together another podcast like this throw it up on the channel, throw it up on SoundCloud and all the other podcasting hosty places, and you can uh, listen to it. That'll be good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Syncquiries, the only podcast based around a bunch of surveys on the internet. Show the surveys with all of your friends, family, and loved ones. And that'll be it, I guess. Cool.